gonna start off. Uh, does anybody know how how much a polar bear weighs? Enough to break the ice. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the negative causes of tobacco. Uh, my name is Rio Aguilar. Um, if no, if someone knows, uh, chew is the way to a baseball player's heart. Um, but then again, using tobacco uh, de develop, develops a habit, a very negative habit, and it's very um, hard to break. I am an athlete, I'm always around it. Uh, a lot of my friends use it personally. Um, <clears throat> basically, tobacco is the cause of having addictions, health problems, and money problems, and that's what we're gonna go into right now. The uh, first negative effects we'll be looking at is the addiction part. Um, tobacco addictions can lead to negative habits, as I can see, uh, as I was saying. According to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, nicotine is the primary um, source of addiction uh, when we use tobacco. Uh, it comes down to seven di several different parts. As you smoke, uh, you're basically getting the nicotine inside of you that creates a little buzz that really makes you want to get like, <clears throat> want to smoke more. And what you don't know, or probably you do know, is that you are also putting other chemicals into your body, such as like uh, tar, things that we use for our roof, um, like other chemicals like um, like to kill bugs and stuff like that. That's the little preservative that tobacco has, and we don't know. We just uh, some people just use just to smoke. Um, dip contains. Uh, there's another thing. It's called uh, dip contains more nicotine than cigarettes. Basically, if you take 30 minutes uh, holding a dip in your mouth, it's like smoking three cigarettes. So it's little. It's the similarities to it. It causes the brain to release some some type of adrenaline, uh, the nicotine, and tobacco is a little part when you say, "Hey, I want to quit," but that that little nicotine and tobacco is gonna make you want to say, "Hey, you know what? I needed to keep going, keep going." And if you don't if you don't have that nicotine, that tobacco in your system for uh, for the people that do smoke or do dip, uh, it makes you want to get another one and another one. And once you are so deep into that, it's very hard to quit. Now we're going to go into the health issues that we have. As you can see here, uh, there's certain types. That's what causes when you uh, smoke a lot. Um, that's another picture of you smoke or dip <coughs> and tobacco really makes an impact in your in your health uh, according to a US Department of Health Services tobacco uh, increases your blood sugars also uh, creates the chances for having more uh, diabetes uh, heavy smokers uh, averagely smoke 20 cigarettes a day which also leads to double up their risk on, uh, on diabetes. And a lot of people think because, oh, you smoke tobacco and you dip tobacco, you're going to have like uh, gum disease or, or lung disease, which uh, this is another part of the diabetes. Uh, the money problems. Um, According to the Center of Disease Control, 13 billion cigarettes are sold each year, uh, which also includes two smoking for people, one pack a day. They spend roughly $160 a week, roughly $8,500 8, a year. Um, you think about how much, how much we can buy with $8,500. This is a couple of people that use it. I mean, smoking. That's a couple of baseball players. That's my friends. 
really do the tobacco dip. Uh, forms of tobacco. This is the most popular one that we have, like as a baseball player, the Red Man as well. Uh, but the things that we don't know is that it creates a lot of uh, lung failures. And then a lot of a lot of my buddies right now have that problem with the gums that like the teeth are starting or like the gum is starting to wear off. And if you don't stop it, basically it's gonna lead to your jaw coming out. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you.